not having people to film with, not understanding what shots you need to get, and not understanding the preparation you need to make a good video as a beginner filmmaker are just a handful of speed bumps you'll face on your filmmaking journey. I was there only a few years ago, and today I'm going to run you through three steps you can take to make sure you're going to fast track your progress and begin to make incredible videos. This video is sponsored by Artlist, but more on them later. Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're diving into the three steps a beginner can take to make incredible videos. First up is the idea slash story. Now, don't get me wrong, you don't need a full in-depth story every time you go out to shoot. That would just be incredibly hard to manage. But I will tell you this, the times that I go out to shoot and I have nothing in mind whatsoever, is far from ideal. So here's what to do. In my opinion, what I like doing the absolute most before I go out to shoot is researching where I'm going. Understanding exactly where I am can start to paint a little bit of a picture in my mind of what I want to shoot. From there, I then write a few shots down that I want to take. So let's say I'm going out with a friend, I might want to get them to do a few things for me. I might want to get them walking, top of a mountain, wherever we are, whatever we're doing, I want to start envisioning the shots I want to get. And then simply, I just start noting them down. You can be using Notion, Apple Notes, or genuinely whatever you like, hey, even a notebook, to make sure you have these with you so when you do go out to shoot, you can quickly reference them and boom, you're good to go. Because there are gonna be those times where you go out to shoot and you don't even look at your shot list. You're just hyper-inspired about what is there. But for the times that you might get maybe three or four shots and you're like, oh, now I don't really know what to shoot, boom, you pull out the notes, you've got a full shot list there and you're saved. Now, that's just a shot list. What about a story? Well. That depends on what you're shooting and why you're shooting it. If you're just going out with friends to have fun, sure, you could make a story about it, but you don't specifically need to. Unless you want to, of course, then by all means. And if you're going to be doing that, just make sure your shot list and ideas are a little bit more well-planned and designed to make sure when you are out and about, you have a little bit of a sequence of events that you can reference and you go from there. And just make sure that they happen. Let's say you are going out with friends, make sure you get them to do the things you need them to do. Make sure you get the shots you need to do so when you do come home, dump all your footage, you're good to go, and you have a rock solid idea, a rock solid timeline of the video you want to create, especially before you had to shoot. I'm telling you, it's crucial. One thing you do want to keep in mind is the pacing of your video. Is this a super fast paced, whole load of shots, moving the camera everywhere kind of video, or is it a little bit more slow? Is it a little bit more stable? Are the shots a little bit cleaner and just smooth and easier to understand? What's the pacing of the video like? This is really, really crucial and it kind of leads me on to the second part, the second tip, if you will, and that's the music. Paying attention, of course, to the pacing, the feeling, the instruments used, you name it, whatever the case, music can really either make or break a video and understanding what music you're gonna use before you go out to shoot can really influence and inspire you to get certain shots. And that's where today's sponsor comes in, Artlist. I've been using Artlist for a very long time now and I can tell you right now that finding music for my videos arguably has never been easier. If you're a beginner just starting out with creating videos, I can tell you right now, finding music is arguably just as hard as shooting the video itself. It doesn't make sense, right? It should be easy. But finding something that flows, finding something that fits, and finding that perfect track to go with your shots like I said, can make or break a video. But if you want to skip that whole process and all of the headache that comes along with it, go ahead and check out Artlist. I've been using Artlist for all my projects and all my songs. Even the song that's going to back this video is found on Artlist. It's great. If you want to go and do yourself a massive favor and save yourself a stack of time, you can go and check out Artlist in the description down below. You get a free two months. Not a bad deal, that's for sure. And just before we move on to tip number three, driving home the music as much as possible, it is so crucial to understand what music that you're gonna use before you shoot. Of course, this isn't gonna happen every time, but when it does, I promise you this, your videos are gonna turn out so much better. And finally, you need to shoot it. What camera gear are you gonna be shooting with? Where are you gonna be shooting it? Who are you gonna be shooting it with? What lenses are you gonna use? Filters, microphones, you name it. What shots are you gonna use? Are you gonna use a gimbal? Is it all gonna be handheld? Is it gonna be a mix of both? Do you have a drone? All of these things you're gonna to have to ask yourself and really work out what gear you're gonna use, how you're gonna shoot it, and who you're gonna shoot it with. See, the idea of just going out and shooting a video, especially by yourself, can be incredibly daunting. Believe me, I know, I've been there. I've been where you don't have anyone to shoot with, but all you wanna do is shoot cool video, 
and believe me, it sucks. This is where having a shot list and a really good idea of what music you're gonna use in your videos can really help you when you're out in the field. And if you are out in the field and you're getting just a little bit lost, then just follow this simple rule. It's called a three shot rule. Simply get a nice wide shot of wherever you are, then get a medium shot, someone does something a little close up that helps bring the viewer into the story and then get a close up shot. And that's a three shot sequence that you can use anywhere. I'd use it for every subject. I'd use it for every location, every landscape, whatever, wherever you may be shooting. This is a really easy three step cut that you can simply cut between every single time and it's gonna look good. Guys, shooting good video and making good video is something that purely just takes time. This doesn't matter how many videos you watch like this, it really doesn't matter. The only way you're really gonna be able to improve is by simply showing up, shooting video, editing video, posting it, getting feedback, rinse and repeat. So guys, with that being said, that is gonna wrap up today's video. If you've enjoyed, let me know down below. Go and check out Artlist, the sponsor of today's video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.